Are we live? Hey, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachach, Hodash. Peace and blessings to the whole family elect. I listen and learn the Akiwa Akwathium and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Much respect to the mighty Gabarium and the highways and hedges, risking their lives to bid Yashra to the marriage and to the Gabar making videos edification to wake up the lost sheep. Citations to the whole family elect scattered abroad. All right, again, we have the brother here, Ibadia. His channels are Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai Bad Zah, and Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai Bad Cha. Follow the brother. I will actually uh, also put the uh, the links in the comment section. So connect. All right, so today, <clears throat> and uh, Shalom, Shalom, Shai, and Yahweh, the Shalom, Barakatha. Shalom, Shalom. Today, we're going to get into um, basically, man, the place of here and the love of many waxing cold, man. And as you guys see, man, as this economical structure is, is collapsing, okay, gas prices are shot up through inflation, all right? There's still a housing crisis. <clears throat> and, you know, we have um, the food shortages and also going into uh, a baby formula shortages, okay? You have the majority, not the majority, but you have a lot of the U.S. Uh, citizens fleeing over to Mexico, all right? to uh get right. baby formers and so forth man and also due to what's going really, on really, Salakia, really really Salakia, yeah. i just want to say really really so, so really so that they can get away from this inflation that's really yep. what it is mm. really yep correct is. Salakia, go ahead, correct right. man correct and with all this that's 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 coming down man everything that's falling apart people are losing their damn minds man People are losing their minds. They, you know, they, they can't cope with what's going on. Right. Okay. And that's why, you know, it's very, it's very, you know, it's a blessing, man, for us to have this wisdom of understanding going into Isaiah 30, 33 and 6, man, you know, because that's going to keep us stable for what's to come, you know, as far as the others, you know, the two thirds and the heathen nations, man, that don't understand what's going on. All right. So I'm going to open up in the book of Ezekiel, <clears throat> Ezekiel chapter 7. And I'm going to start at verse 5, and it says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, In evil, and only evil, behold, is come. In end is come, the end is come, it watcheth for thee, behold, it is come. So this is Yahweh Bashim Shai, man, talking to uh, the prophet Ezekiel of what's to come, man. It's going to be nothing but pain, misery, sorrows, and woes, man. We're heading into a transition where Esau Edom's queendom is going to fall apart. But during that transition, there has to be, you know, a lot of bloodshed, man, a lot of pain and misery, a lot of destruction. And Shalom, Shalom, hopefully, like Lady of Yahweh, Shalom. Okay. So I'm going to get another, uh, I'm going to get another uh, scripture in the book of Second Ezra, and I'm going to give the brother Abadi the floor. Um, let's go to Second Ezra, because we have to talk about what those plagues are. What, what, what is that evil that's to come? Okay. Second Ezra uh, 16, and I'm sorry, at verse, um, I'm sorry, at verse 17. <clears throat> now, this is the prophet Ezra's, all right, also as Ezra's, okay, they're the same people, just two pronunciations. Right. This is right. verse 17 of Second Ezra 16. It says, woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Okay. Verse 18 says what? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine. Brother Salak, can I say something? Come on, come on. Come on. Think about it. When Ezra said that, mm -hmm. you're talking about over two millenniums ago. So yep. when he said, what was me? What was he going to say me in that <laughs> day? That's talking about reincarnation. So Ezra, or exactly. well, Ezra is here again today. So like I just wanted to say that. You say it today. That's and that's beautiful. And that proves <clears throat> reincarnation, man. That that cuts a lot of the Christian doctrines that don't believe in reincarnation. All right. So that's a beautiful point that the brother just brought out to the spirit. And beautiful. The water for that. The water. So this is second Ezra 16. And I'm jump down to verse 18. It says, The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the right. beginning of famine and great death. Okay, so let's stop there. Are we not in the time of great sorrows and great mornings? 
All right, we uproars of the people all over the world. Okay, we have the plagues and pestilence, and and these different um um these different diseases that spring out of nowhere. Um, we also have uh, uh these these insects, man, also bringing out certain diseases too that we never heard of. Okay, mm. so going into what the beginning of famine and the great death. It tells right. you in Second Ezra <clears throat> six and twenty two. That the unsown places share the sown places share appear unsown. And you have many of these Walmarts closed down, shut down, BJ shut down. Okay. Right. You have these farms, their crops are being mysteriously burnt down. Okay. So on and so forth. Going into great death, mass murders. We just had how many, how many mass shootings, man? How many mass shootings? Church shootings. Okay. Um, um people getting killed by animal attacks. All right. Uh, 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 family members in their own household shooting each other up over minuscule things, man. Okay, let's continue. It says the beginning of wars. All right, we're going into that third row, uh, uh, Revelations 11 and 14, man. The, the second one was passed, the third will come if quickly. Okay, <coughs> um, and the powers, oh, got disconnected. The brother got disconnected. Let me get the brother back. And Shalawan, nation of kings and priests. Um, just give me one second. I think the brother, the brother got disconnected. Uh, just give me one second. Let me resend the brother an invite. Just give me one second, Akiam. Wa Akwathiam. Bear with me. Salakia. <clears throat> so I'm gonna send um send him an invite so you can get back in here and then we uh we're gonna take it from there. Just give me one second. Let's see. All right. So hopefully the brother gets back on. And Shalom to the uh <coughs> to Janae Israel. And Shalom to the brother ba brother Bayan. Shalom Brakatham, right? So let's continue while the brother uh gets back. So let's go back to second edge of the 16th chapter in verse 18. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. OK, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils come? OK, so this is the prophet Ezra foreseeing what's to come in the future. OK, and like the brother said, that proves reincarnation. OK, so he <clears throat> so he knows in those times, OK, it's going to be. A, a, a dark and an and evil day, man. Okay. So going back to hopefully the brother's there. So we're gonna wait while he uh, while he gets here. Salaki again. Okay, so us as the men of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai made the men of the Lord watchmen for the house of Israel, okay, to prophesy of these things to come. Okay, because you gotta remember the prophets of old, I think that's Jeremiah. Jeremiah 23, 28 and 8. It says the prophets of old, right, have preached. Let's get that as a matter of fact. Let's go to Jeremiah. I don't want to butcher it. Let's go to Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. And it says, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence okay and this is what we're doing man constantly brothers out there in the highways and hedges brothers uploading vid videos man measuring the times diligently okay within itself warning the people that yo yahweh shim yosha is visiting the earth visiting the world which he made okay so we're giving that warning as it says in ezekiel um ezekiel 3 and 17 okay we're giving that warning from yahweh shim yosha we're blowing that trumpet right I think it's um, 
I think it's Ezekiel 33. Let me get that real quick. Ezekiel 33 and verse 3. Check this out. I'm going to start at, um, I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, And again, the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, right? Because the sword is being is going to be brought upon Esau Edom, right? And Isaiah 59 and 19, Esau Edom is also that sword, that flood that's going to come down upon the land, especially upon uh, uh, Israel, okay? And it says, let's, let's continue. Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, okay? So we're being watchmen, okay? If when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. You see that? So we're warning the people of what's to come, of that sword, man, all right? Of the great miseries, mornings, famine, and great death, okay? But see, the majority of Israel, which are the two-thirds, they don't understand that, okay? Because they're not setting the show that self-approved. They're not looking up these channels, man. All right. They're not hearkening to the prophets of the Lord, starting on the, uh, the, the elder apostles of Great Millstone on down. Okay. But see, we're, we're doing our job, man. All right. The tabernacle of David. Let's go. Let's go to something real quick. Brother still didn't get back. I'm not sure what's going on. Let's go to. Uh, let's go to second Ezra's. Chapter nine. I'm sorry, verse, I'm sorry, verse one. And it said, and he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. Okay. And this is what we're diligently doing. Okay. Constantly what? Looking up news articles. Okay. Brothers posting TikTok videos. Okay. Of, 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 of civilians, right. Talking about you have to stock up. Okay. Or, or the petrodollar is nearly obsolete, okay? Um, they had many cases of when people that were on food banks, right, trying to get food, when they will walk back into their homes, they, they're being robbed and spoiled, okay? This is all happening, man. Second Ezra, the 15th chapter tells you that. Sedition among men, invading one another, okay? I think in Second Ezra's um, 16th chapter says that that no, uh, what is it, um, what is it? Uh, nope. Second Ezra 15, I think starting in the 18th verse, it talks about how no man shall pity upon his neighbor. Okay, so this is what's going on. All right, let's get back to it. I'm going to start at verse 1 again. Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs, which are the prophecies, okay, signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt Salakia, then shalt thou understand that it that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, man. So Yahweh Shai is visiting the world which he made, okay? And Yahweh Shai has made many worlds. I told you that in Hebrews, the first chapter, starting off, uh, starting from the first verse down to the second, man. He made many worlds, okay? But the world he's focusing on right now is the world of Esau Edom. Because Job 9, 24 says what? That the word is given to the hand of the wicked. Okay? I think the brother's back. Yep. <laughs> Man, so lock it. You back, brother. Nah, it's okay, brother. It's okay, brother. Satan, bro. Lock it. It's okay, brother. Con, we we still we still put it in, man. So right now. Yeah, we got to eat, baby. We got to feed the people. Con, con. So right now, we basically talking about how, you know, with all these things that has come in the past man Yahweh right. Shimei Shai right. sent prophets man and I, I went to um Jeremiah 28 and 8 how the prophets of old have pre uh, prophesied against many countries all right about war pestilence okay and all the all the, the the plagues that's coming upon us man you know so us as watchmen we're sending the uh we're sending that warning from Yahweh Shimei Shai Ezekiel 3 and 17 and we're also blowing that trumpet Ezekiel 33 and 3 okay of the sword that's coming upon this land because going back to what Isaiah 59 and 19, Esau, Edom, the wicked, which is the sword on the left-hand side is coming down like that flood, man. Okay. So I ended off with 2 Ezra 9 uh, in verse 1, starting about what? Measuring times diligently. 
understand this is the time that Yahweh Shimiel Shah is visiting the earth which he made. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm go back to verse 3. And it says, therefore, when there shall be earthquakes and uproars of the people, which we have seen, we have seen many, many natural disasters, man. Right. Okay. We have seen many uproars of the people. Um, as a matter of fact, the uh brother Tay Yasharala just sent me um, and I forgot to send it to you, Ak Salakia, Salakia. Um oh, it was a, a, a uproar over there in India, okay, concerning the whole um farmers, the farmers. Nah, the one with the, about the military. Something okay, to do with the here. military, okay? Military kind of jobs. And you know, right. the Elamites over there are going, you know, going hard against or go against hard against the military, man. So you know, all that stuff is going on. So the brothers are dropping it. So hold on. So you said the civilians <laughs> are going against the military. So what's going? So basically, let me get it real quick because I still I mean, got no, it. No, 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 no. Just, just you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If you want to, you they can concern. Yeah, they're concerned with the jobs. So you, they, like the military is basically using like, them for four years. You know, for 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 hired hands. You know. Yeah. Well, you know, well, well, there's corruption in every in every military and every type. Uh -huh. But when you, but really what, but really what I heard news for India is that man at a record number. Yeah. They're like they, their farmers are committing suicide. Oh wow! They're okay. Out, yeah, they're being bought out by like big, big pharma, but they're doing it through some kind of institution that deals with um agriculture. It's it's menacing over there, you know. I mean, you got to yep. understand how often does America or anyone in the EU or NATO mess with India? They really yeah. India has <laughs> over a billion some people. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, the That's second largest, very, the second largest uh, country, man, under China. <laughs> I can tell if I'm not mistaken, right? You yep. know what I'm saying? And they got nukes, you know. But anyways, yep. keep going out. So like, hey, hey, they, hey, they dropping bread and they the drop. I'm gonna bring out some, bring out some of these scriptures, man. This is brother buying out with Ephesians five and fifteen. Exactly. It says, "See then that we walk circumspectly, not as fools, man, right. but as wise." Okay, redeeming the time because the days are evil, man. Right. Going back right. to we just opened up in Ezekiel seven. Uh, the seventh chapter starting at the at the fifth verse man evil times are ahead of us man okay this is why we're constantly constantly watching okay this is why because it says what a, a fool despises instruction but what is that instruction the measure of times diligently the study all right to be on our watch so we're not as fools okay we're measuring the times diligently and what it says redeeming the time because the days are evil beautiful preacher by the brother brother Bayon. I'm going to bring out one more. I'm going to let the brother take the floor. This is Nation of Kings and Priests. This is Jeremiah 50 and 23. Yep. How is the hammer, right? Which is what? A, a Babylon not so great. America. Okay. Because of what? Their nuclear military power. If you I may also add too, yep. whenever, whenever I uh, see this verse, I also think about a gavel that's used inside the court. Uh -huh. and that's also a mallet, a wooden mallet or a wooden hammer. And exactly. Esau, America, Babylon, the mystery whore of Babylon that rises upon the beast, mm -hmm. she wants to be the hammer, the the gavel, the judge of the whole earth. Because really, mm -hmm. America is really the only country, the main country, that puts sanctions on any and everybody else and will invade you and won't have no evidence. We still haven't found the weapons of mass destruction. So how, yep. so how are they? So they're losing their power because they were able to use the petrol dollar. Ever since all these other heathen countries started to say, you know what, we're going to find other means to get around your sanctions, other yep. means to sell, to export. I mean, America's pimping the whole world. You want to sell your own oil? You got to use my money. It's like, yep. it's pretty much like <laughs> if you want to sell your own work on my block, you got to give me 30% off top. It's like, what? Yep. So yep. the whole world is like, you know, we done with that. So now they're losing their power and you can see that. You mm -hmm. know, that's why when the Russia invaded Ukraine and, and once they took Donbass, they kept saying, oh, dang, that's it. Because that also, is the, that's the same area that majority, well, actually the vast majority of Ukraine's wheat is at. Ukraine and Russia together, they hold over 25% of the world's wheat. And there are many countries that's dependent on them. God. And on top of that, Russia said that they're going to cut 40% of the gas to Europe because of Western sanctions. So really, like, America's losing their power, and that's the beautiful precept right there. How was the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? They're losing yep. their power because it's it's really a transfer of power of us coming into power. Come on. Right? Yep. How was Babylon become a desolation among nations, and that is yet to come?
All right, go ahead. Exactly. Right, right. Like you right. said, brother, all these nations, uh, all these nations don't want to deal with you, with, don't want to deal with the great whore, man. You know, it tells you that in Obadiah 1 and 7 how all the nations that were confederate with Esau Edom as as coming yeah. is coming against them, man. Okay, yeah. they're coming against them, which is hey, which is gonna lead to that that third woe, man. Which basically uh, uh Pope Francis said, Hey, World War Three is declared, man. Okay, so we're here. <laughs> we are here. Hey, brother, can I bring up one beautiful precept real yes. quick? Yes, yeah, yeah, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Um, this is Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 10, verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, mm. injuries, and riches got by deceit. That's how America got rich off of us. Yep. Like Egypt got, you know, became famous at one point because of us. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. So think about this up. Uh, as the economy is crumbling, immorality is at an all-time high. Morality, morality is at an all-time low. Everybody's yep. um, in a state of debauchery, strung out on drugs or pills or something like that. All right, everyone's promiscuous. Everyone's just fornicating. Everyone um, um, become um, lovers of men or lovers mm -hmm. of uh, lovers of the creature, <coughs> the creator. All right, this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. I yep. mean, it's just like this entire state is just the state of America, the state of the world is in disarray because it's given over to the hands of the wicked who got rich off of us, right? So now mm -hmm. with that being said, not only it said it shall be translated, remember what the scriptures say, the saints shall take the kingdom. Take the kingdom. But guess what? Uh, let me tell you how beautiful it is. We already taken the kingdom because the Lord is destroying theirs. Whew. We checking yep. down Babylon as we speak. Remember the Lord said, he said, um, he said, my word shall be like a hammer and these people shall be like a rock. So all, yeah. every time we speak and bring out this word, we're chiseling the down pieces. at the foundation Ooh. of Babylon, bro. Uh -huh. Breaking so that rock into pieces, pieces, man. Right, yep. right. So, it's so, it's so not like my word like a fire. So, like, so that's another way of um, they translated, they translated from one people to another. The yep. Lord is slowly, meticulously taking it down. That's why I said, though it tarry, wait for it. I mean, yep. we can see we can yep. see the all right, you can see the horizon with the with the sky and with the ocean. But all of a sudden it's like, yo, do I see them lights? Oh, hold on, we're close to the mm -hmm. harbor. We can see the harbor, but the storm is still over us. We got to exactly. get to the storm to get to the harbor to get the safety first. We yep. see the lighthouse. We see that we see the candle on, on top of the hill. We got to get there. Mm -hmm. We got to get through this 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 perfect storm. <laughs> like the scriptures say, man, through much through much tribulation that shall we enter into that kingdom, man. There you go, brother. You know, we got to we got to go through that, man. You gotta go through that. This is uh this is beautiful by uh Prince of Yahweh Nine Shalom, brother. Shalom, Shalom, Ezekiel, brother. Ezekiel 7 and 25. It says, Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. There you see that? Right. <laughs> well, they right. say peace is safety, then sudden destruction cometh, man. Beautiful okay. Hey brother, I got something to go with that. Um Ezekiel God. 7 25 from that brother, Prince of Yahweh Shalom, brother Shalom. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Yep. Now, this is beautiful. This is Matthew 11 and 23. Hearken unto this. And thou, Capernaum, this is in red letter. This is Yahweh Shah speaking. Mm -hmm. And thou, Capernaum, which are exalted unto heaven. This is a parable. Listen. Shall be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. So let's break that down because Capernaum, when you go into the work of the city, Capernaum, it means city of comfort. And America yeah. is yep. city of comfort. So this is also speaking about America. Mm -hmm. Okay. And thou, Capernaum, just think about America, the mystery of Babylon, which are exalted unto heaven. Think about it. Kanye West said in the song, when you fall off, it feels like a plane crash. So right now, hell, they don't set their nest amongst the stars. So yep. they, they literally in the heavens, yep, right, <laughs> which are exalted unto heaven shall be brought down to hell. And when you go into the word hell in the uh, old testament, it's shower all, which means the grave. So the Lord said, In other words, I'm going to make this place desolate, mm -hmm. nothing shall be here but dragons and all kind of weird creatures, but no man will be able to inhabit it. That's what I mean by bringing it down to hell. This place is going to be a monument of what will happen. If you have complete evil Roman, that, that's gonna be Lake a fire, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna uh -huh. keep going real quick. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee have been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. So that's pretty much saying that 
Whatever you're doing right now, even if you would have done that back in Sodom, Sodom would have remained. But what you're doing ain't no better. It's worse. Right. So, so when you think about um, so when you think about that precept right there, America is at the peak, but it's it's descending. It's descending like this at an angle, and it's getting ready to crash, like the elders say, circling down the drain. But uh -huh. remember, through much tribulation, through much tribulation, shall we enter to the kingdom of heaven. We have to go through these sorrows. We have exactly. to go through these famines, through these deaths, but that don't mean that we're going to be sorrowful, that mm -hmm. we're going to be hungry, that we shall experience death. It's a difference. Remember yep. what the scripture says in Psalm, what is Psalms 91? It said, a thousand shall fall at thy side, right, and it shall come near thee. Yep. So you have so you have to imagine that. That's kind of like I am legend. Mm -hmm. When him and Sam, all them people died, but he was still he was still there. He was trying to find a cure. He was trying to find the elect, the ones yep. who will make it out. You yep. gotta get what I'm saying, right? Nah, yep, yep. Was female, but she was still an Israelite. You know, she had a little sauce in it. I think she was Latina or something like that. But yeah, what the doctor is, or something like that. Yeah, because remember, this world that is made is for many, but the world will come for few. For few. And it tells you in Second Ezra, I think it's the 15th chapter, it says that many that shall be slain uh, uh, from famine or, or from God, hunger. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I mean, they're dropping a lot of bread in the basket. Nah, so man. And that's there. beautiful that you brought that up to the Spirit, because you said that, you know, we, we, we see it. We see it. So that's why the, uh, <clears throat> Brother Bayon just brought out this mm. is Proverbs 22 and 3. It says a prudent man foreseeth, seeth the evil, man, and hiding himself in what? Psalms 91 and 1, that secret place of the most high. Okay. Right. And he scriptures. Right. So Proverbs 23, Proverbs 22 and 3 says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. And the simple are who? The two-thirds, man. Yeah. Who think what? Who dwell in and in, 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 who is saying what? Peace and safety. Uh, First Thessalonians said what? Um, they should say peace and safety, but sudden destruction should come upon them. Right? right. Roughly paraphrasing. Ooh. So a lot of a lot of these two thirds, and that's crazy because um, I was hey, watching a, um, I was watching Elder Elder Gabar's one of Elder Gabar's videos that he did on the Elder uh, uh about how this Jake was talking about. You know, we're struggling here. I, you know, I don't even come back off my lunch break because I'm crying. You know, times is bad. You know what I'm saying? So they <laughs> they don't but, know but what's going on, man. But it's beautiful that you had said that earlier about the first yeah. Thessalonians because remember what you said. We can see that this is a beautiful precept too. Uh -huh. But you see, you brought it into fruition because of the spirit. Proverbs 22 and three: A Ooh, prudent yep. man foresee of the evil yep. and hide of himself, but mm -hmm. the simple pass on and, and are punished. and are punished. And you mentioned First Thessalonians five, but check this out. First Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, yep. we have no need that I write unto you mm -hmm. for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. night. That's yep. why we are watchmen. We it's it's kind of like watching the news. You know, whenever I'm in Florida, whenever a hurricane will come, people are watching the news hourly because they know that sudden destruction is coming. It could be sudden destruction, right? So yep. we're watching this hailstorm of righteous indignation coming. We're trying to tell you, yo, prepare for this, but y'all mm -hmm. don't want to hearken. That's why the flood came and only eight people survived anyhow. Yep. You know, but anyways, continuing on 1 Thessalonians 5 and 2 again. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. In other words, you don't know when he's going to come and take the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Understand? Verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And the else will start with Abba Bivens all yep. the way up to now. You know, we've been warning our people for decades. From Abba Bivens to High Priest Aria, um, all the other um, our elder elders from Elder Apostle to Har on down. All the way to the like-minded men right now to the young brothers just coming into it, man. Yep. And we've still been on our watch, warning mm -hmm. our people. What it says, cry aloud, spare not. Spare not. Isaiah 58 and 1. Because, one. Uh -huh. because listen, the heat is going into captivity just one way yep. or another. Either you're going to be disintegrated or you're going to give up the spirit or you're you, you going to come back in the reincarnation. 
be a slave. But Israel going to rule regardless. But do you want to catch this? Do you want to catch this first train or do you want to catch that second train? Mm. All right. Do, do you want do you want um a private Lear jet or do you want to be flying spirit? <laughs> 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 I'm trying to give y'all analogies. You get what I'm saying? God, you know? God, man. Yep. <laughs> you know, so because because the Lord gonna make us righteous one way or another, uh -huh. right? So either you're gonna be refined by the fire, which is this word, and get burnt, or you're gonna really be refined by true fire and get burnt for you real. Get burnt. Yep. One way or another, you're gonna uh -huh. be refined. Mm -hmm. exactly exactly man that's that's beautiful as a brother just brought out too man because it's due you know the pride are gonna fall man esau edom and his great pride and also the two-thirds man in their haughtiness right. this is beautiful this is isaiah 10 and 33 it says behold the lord this is yahweh shot the lord of was that lop yep lop the bow with lop terror mm -hmm. and the high ones of stature shall be hewn down and the haughty shall be humbled you see that so for great pride, yeah, man, the bow, the bow. for great pride, is they're going to be lopped off. That's that's oh, that's spirit. Just give me one second. Mm -hmm. Let me go to the book of Job, the twenty fourth chapter. Let me take some real quick. Let me drop this real quick. This is uh, I, this is Job twenty four and twenty four. It says they are exalted for a little while, but are gone and brought low. Mm -hmm. They are taken out of the way as all other. And cut off as the tops of the ears of corn, man. You see that? So Esau, Edom, you know, they, they, yeah, they're going to be exalted for a little while, man. But at the end of the day, due to their uh, haughtiness and pride, due to their their hate against Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and the slaying of the men of the Lord, hey, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going to have those thermonuclear missiles hit this place, man. And before that happens, you see, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is, is a beautiful tactician, man, because the crumbling starts within. You're going to have the division of the people, as it says in the book of Luke. All right. You're going to have what? Division among men. All right. People rising up against another with swords in their hands, man. We're going to go into civil wars. We're going to go into race wars, religious wars, class wars. All right. We already talked about Second Ezra 6 to 22, about all these places, the food shortages, so on and so forth, man. So he's going to weaken it from the inside. That's why the scripture says that what? He should be in dire straits. Because when you think about it, Ak, <laughs> he's gonna be worrying about what's going on on the inside while these other nations are like yo shoot those missiles from the outside you know <laughs> right right right. <laughs> right you got it Doc. yeah man the brother dropped some good some beautiful precepts over there too but going back to um i'm gonna bring out a couple of precepts and then you know it's yep. for you isaiah 14 and 11 thy pump is brought down Ooh. to the grave yep well it's grave right so the, you know america's pump is that mm -hmm. pump is brought down to the grave and the noise of thy vowels, a vowel is like a violin. Yep. You know, so think about it. You know, you, you go to an opera, it's very pleasant. And also what happened when, when Saul had that, that disturbed spirit on him? David played the harp, which is the a harp. string instrument, yep. right? Anyways, the worm is spread under thee and the worms cover thee. So in other words, it's decay, meaning that your pump is like you boasting. Matter of fact, prime example, I think it was um. Oh, the Yashawamba on his two through two through <laughs> info uh, page. It was just Karen. It's like, um, the title said Esau is so played out. The so Karen was, she was like being just sitting there, like being a um, a little kid, like Esau crying to um, yeah, Isaac, yeah, yeah. like Esau crying to Isaac. Oh, can I please get a blessing? So she was just sitting there, she was um, pretty much provoking the Judah Heights sister. She was, she was like. Rumbunch is cussing at her though, but she was just recording, like, get out of my way, get out of my way. You don't even live over here. Soon the police come up. Oh my god, I was attacked by a man. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you yep. was attacked by a man over in this area, why are you sitting in your car over here in the area? Yep. Then? Exactly. She's like, the lady came to my car. I'm like, so like, even it's like you being all it's like it's to the point that you have to cry to your own people to get us off the street because you can't hang us anymore. Mm -hmm. You can't drag us behind the truck anymore. I'm not saying that it's not happening, but it's not happening on a grand scale like that. So they're yep. losing the power. The pump is just being brought low. All right. The worm is spread under thee, and the worm and the and the worms cover thee. Verse twelve. Come to point. How art thou falling from heaven, mm. O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nation? So who, yep. what one nation on earth has destroyed, has demolished, has pillaged? 
has great almost every nation on earth. Esau, America, yep. aka yep. Mystery Horror Babylon. Yep. So when it says how I got fallen from heaven, meaning like when people oh, was watch the movie Titanic, I'm saying like during that time, that was like <clears throat> early 1900s, probably whatever. Yeah. All over the world, people kept saying, I want to go to America. I heard the streets were paved with gold. People were literally saying that to themselves. Mm -hmm. But all you see is a gust of bricks that was laid there by us. All you see is rats all up in New York, which is supposed to be the Empire State. All you see is public defecation, right? All you see is murder and, and, and all kind of debauchery, all kind of, of, of inside wickedness with the blue, with, with the, the, the biggest gang in the world, the NYPD. Yep. Right? You get what I'm saying? Yep. The place is done. So, But when it said Lucifer, the word Lucifer goes back to light bearer. So mm -hmm. think about the word Illuminati, Illuminati, illuminate. When you cut your light switch on, what happens? It's illuminating. Mm -hmm. It's giving off lumens, a brightness. And guess what? It goes back to knowledge. When you go to 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, the sixth verse, it says the light is the knowledge of Yahweh Shai. Yes, but it's yep. also the black light. Think about what I'm saying. The mm. black light. That's subliminal. FBI, um, well, I say detectives or like forensics. Whenever they want to find blood stains or whatever kind of um these um, fluids that can obtain or contain, I should say, um DNA, they always use the black light. Yep. And, and Esau puts everything subliminally, right? That's what they do. That's why the, that's why the scripture says, "Thou art wiser than Daniel." Daniel. Yep. That's why we call them the Illuminati. They have obtained the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The Lord mm -hmm. gave them the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Because the Lord controls not only the right hand side, but the left hand side. So the Lord is like, I'm going to show you what it's like if you want to have wisdom and knowledge and understanding on the left hand side, but you ain't gonna like it. And that's nope. what we that's what we and that's what we're experiencing right now. Mm -hmm. But now they're being brought down to the earth with which did is weaken the nations when you how is shy. Who King Solomon, King Shalom or Malak Shalom, when he was ruling during that time, the entire world was at peace for 40 years. Esau didn't destroy the earth in less than a hundred years. <laughs> Come on, man. You're not fit the rule, bro. Oh man, man. What once once he came into power, the world was destroyed, man. Oh my god. <laughs> the, the that, man. Hey, listen, the Renaissance, which means the rebirth, his uh -huh. rebirth became the death of us all. Okay, the death of us all. That's man. the balance of the law right there. <laughs> Well, yeah, man. That's why I told you in Isaiah forty. Well, Isaiah forty-seven and one it tells it to sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, man. Mm -hmm. Because Esau Edom in his economy, all right, is being brought very low, man. Especially all the nations, all right. They're saying what? It right. says, "Let the weak say I am strong." Okay, so they look in that America as as yo. We was afraid of this guy, man. We was afraid of this right. nation, a nation that that has what that 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 promotes trannies, transformers. You got women in the military. I still remember Ak. And, and look this up, Ak and Wa Akwathim. They had um a, a a military suit, like a military suit for pregnant women. Man, why the hell, yo? Why would you have pregnant women in the damn military, man? But it tells you in Obadiah one and eight. It wait, says what? Wait. Have I not take the the wisdom out of Esau? Wait, wait, uh, Salaki, Salaki, Salaki. So right. Esau. Every president gets inaugurated on the Bible. So yep. if a woman's pregnant, for first and foremost, she's in the military. That's already your eh. And then <laughs> yep. she's pregnant, eh. And you're going to make a suit for her to go out the war? She struck out. Because first and foremost, if a this is in our law, if a man of Israel, if his wife gives birth to his son, mm -hmm. I think it's two years, he's not That's obligated crazy. to go to war. That's just that's on the part of a man's wife. Exactly. A, a wife of a husband gives birth. This woman's pregnant, and you're gonna make a suit for her to go to man. This place is backwards, bro. It's, it's, it's finished, man. It is, it is finished, man. It is it's terribly finished, man. There's no wisdom here, man. Yahweh yeah. Shim Yahweh Shah took the wisdom out of Esau Edom. He can't rule correctly. So this is why the people are going back to back to the people, man. That dwell here in Babylon. This is why yeah. people are going mad. This is why the love of many is waxing cold. Uh, uh, that Matthew tw the twenty fourth chapter. It says that should iniqu iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Because pure iniquity is 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 all over the place. The scriptures say what the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. So you have right. these wicked ass uh, 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 Edomites in office, man, promoting all types of damn wickedness. So that's why you have the people 
that's that's beguiled by the witchcraft of the serpent man going crazy man shooting each other up in the churches all right robbing and stealing so on and so forth man but it's all part of it's all part of the plagues man okay it's all part of those plagues let's get some let's go to second ezra get some real quick let's go to second ezra second ezra uh let's go back to second ezra 15 so like it's 16. Second Ezra 16, and let's go to uh verse 37. <clears throat> and it says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh, man, and are not slack. So Yahweh Bashim Shai, man, it's made good in this word. All right. We got plagues and pestilence here. We have uh we have uh wars and rumors of wars. Okay, we're already in World War Three. All right. We the inflation. Come on, inflation is here. The people are going crazy, man. The people are going mad, okay. So, yep. So, Bible prophecy, man, is is hopping off the pages, man. It's hopping off the right. pages. Yep. This is uh. Let's get some scriptures off the comic books. Hey, hold on, hold on. Salaki, 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 yeah. Salaki, brother, Salaki. Please Come. forgive me. I I don't know if you're watching your comment board. Forgive me, brother. But nations of kings and priests had a question down there, bro. What's that? I don't know you if see, you want to uh, your your comment board, man. Yeah, it's, it's freaking going down fast while we're talking. Let me see. Uh, really? Yeah. Brothers, throwing up Wait. scriptures. Which? Wait, I'm trying to find Wait, it. Okay, well then, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to look for it right now. I'm going to look for it right now. Way, way at the bottom. Way at the bottom. Maybe, the bottom. maybe it's your ice cream. Maybe oh, I got it. I got it. Yep, right here. Bottom, Nations yeah. of kings and priests. Yep. Question, Ock. So when we're being tried through the fire, is that use, is that us being chastised? By the word in order to be set aright, of course, man. Because you got to remember the scriptures say what the spy is not the chastening of the Lord. Let's get something real quick. Let's go to um, I got something for you, uh, brother. Let's go to the book of Sirach. Uh, 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 Sirach. Let's go to Sirach chapter two. Uh, so check this out. And the brother put it up too. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, okay? So when we first come into the truth, when Yahweh, I should say, when Yahweh Shem Yahshua wakes us up to the truth, we have to prepare our minds and spiritually, okay, for temptation. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. So when we're entering into what? Jeremiah 37, okay? Jeremiah 37 is basically the whole, the whole outlook of what's to come, all right? All that trouble, man. War, pestilence, so on and so forth. Check this out. Verse 3 says, Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at the last end. Now check this out. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, right, going through that fire, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. You see that? So when we come into this wise council, man, when Yahweh Bashim Mashah wakes us up, we understand that, yo, you know, that <laughs> we're enemies of this world, man. And when everything comes down upon us, right, Isaiah 50, uh, 59 and 19, going back into what? Jeremiah 37, so on and so forth, man. Us being, going through that fire, that trial and tribulation is going to refine us, man. You know, and we're going through that right now, Okay. The stuff that we're going through right now, the what the, the the problems that we have in our life right now, man, whether it be you know child support, housing situations, whatever. Yeah, how about Shimei Al Shabbos refining our minds so when that time comes, we're better prepared. Okay, so I pray that answers your question, huh? Hey, I got, I got, I got a passage for him too, if I may. Nah, right, keep going. Yep, you got it, up. Because the brother had asked question, uh, so when we're being tried through the yep. fire. We're being tried through the fires that us being chastised by the word in order to be set aright. Well, I'm yep. just going to read this for you. First Peter chapter four, verse 12 through 18. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the mm -hmm. fiery trial, which is to try you. Right. <clears throat> As though some strange thing happened unto you. Like, dang, when I was in the world, everything was smooth. But when I came into the truth. It started getting a little harder, a little rough. Remember, wisdom going to try you, yep. right? Um, verse 13, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Mashiach's sufferings, mm. that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. See, we we are, we're, um, 
happy for what's to happen now because our kingdom is to come in but everybody else is on um, mourning but hold on the scripture said he that laughed he that laughed now shall cry later so what does that mean about those who sigh and cry for the abomination yep. we're gonna be laughing later uh-huh but, but we have to be tried though we have to yep. be tried we have to suffer that's what patient the word patience in the in the new testament it goes back to suffering that's why when you get admitted to a hospital you don't get there you don't get admitted there because you um are and you have a sound body you get admitted there because you're ill you need a physician who is your hour shy so you're patiently waiting because you're suffering yep so we're patiently waiting because we're suffering okay verse 14 if ye be reproached for the name of mashiach and people come at you because you're not coming the name of Je jebus i like how this brother say <laughs> happy Jebus. are ye so be happy for the spirit yep. of glory and of god rests upon you on that part he he is evil spoken of but on your part he is glorified why because when people hear the word jebus they think about that that um blonde hair blue-eyed devil in a surgery of Bojil. Yep. When we say Yahweh Shai, we know that he looked like one of us. Mm -hmm. well, that's what we understand. And remember, the scripture says in Malachi 1 and 14, if I'm not mistaken, it says, My Yahweh Shai said, My name is dreadful among the heathen. Like the heathen. Why would they tell you his name when it has power? Mm -hmm. There's a difference. So if you be reproached for Yahweh Shai, Yahushua, like you could have been raised Christian or Baptist or Seven day Evangelist or Pentecostal or whatever. And they'd be like, You coming here with that? That whatever language you say, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna be rude like they would probably be because all your life you've been praising Jebus. Yep. So if you be reproached for that, guess what? Oh, you, it was supposed to happen exactly. And you refine what's happening, you refine and filter what's happening through you in your life with your family through the scriptures. Okay, it's supposed to happen. What the scripture says, He that increases um knowledge increases knowledge sorrow. Of sorrow. Yep. Right. Because yep. remember, the scripture says, "Surely a person maketh a wise man mad." So you're not mm -hmm. a fool. So that's why you're being refined, because you're not a fool. As long as you're a fool, they don't care. They don't yeah. Care. <laughs> yep. oh, here, oh, this, oh, this nigga don't know something. Oh, misinformation. Uh, yep. Um, fake news. Oh, uh, conspiracy theories. What? Like, anyway, let's, let's keep going. Let's like keep the scriptures say, man, if you were of the world, the world would love his own, man. Right. You're not of the world, yeah. man. Hold on, remember, hold on, your house, I said it. Know that the yep. world hated me before it hated you, because uh -huh. I testified thereof that the works thereof are evil. Evil. Woo. And yep. now they're looking at you, and not everybody looking at you, like you got a goddamn 10 to 4 hat on your head and shit. Mm hmm All right. That's cool. Anyways, First Peter chapter 4, verse 15. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other men's matters. Think about that. So in other words, he said, if you're going to suffer, don't suffer for the wickedness. So yep. that's what that mean. That's the hour of temptation when the whole world shall be tried. It don't matter if you believe or not. Everyone's going to be tried. That's, Ooh, so that's what yep. they're saying. If you're going to suffer, don't be one of them fools. Suffer for your house, I say. Mm -hmm. All right. Matter of fact, let me go back one chapter. First Peter got chapter it. three, you got it up. verse um fourteen. But and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their of their terror, neither be troubled. Okay. Let mm. me go back. First Peter chapter four, verse. This is just a spirit. Verse um sixteen. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, a true follower, Yahweh shy. Yep. Let him not be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. But let him glorify God on his behalf. And I'm and I'm just gonna say for them sisters who believe too, don't be ashamed. Glorify your how about Shima Shai on their behalf. Okay. Verse 17. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God, so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans. And yep. if it first begin at us. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? So in other words, it's like, listen here. If, you, if you're going to suffer, do what you're supposed to do. we already suffering as a people because of us not doing what we're supposed to do in the beginning. Yep. Going to the next verse, verse 18. 1 Peter 4 and 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, that's those who shall endure unto the end. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Yeah. Wherefore let them well verse 19. I did say 18. Wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of God. 
You know that? Mm -hmm. Commit the keeping of their souls to him and well doing as unto a faithful creator. Fire. Hey, I still like it. Spirit is baby. Want to bring out one more precept? Yep. You got it. You got it. You got it. Got it. it says <laughs> the keeping of your soul. And, and the brother said it. What, what was it? The keeping of your soul. Dang. All right. Um, Let's see. The one with the, the, the question he had. Question. Uh, so when we're being tried through the fire, is that us being chastised by the word? I want you, I want to go back to that. The yeah. word in order to be set right. The word. Remember the keeping of your soul. The last verse and first Peter, to the fourth verse. Listen to this. James 1 and 21. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. <laughs> And receive with meekness the engrafted word, mm. which is able to save your soul. That's how you keep your soul, the word. So you're gonna have to be chastised to see if you're worthy. Like yep. for what what my sifu had to go through to be a sifu, it's like man, bro, you went through the ringer. Yep. But because that dedication and that discipline, listen, what is discipline? Discipline requires you to be at your absolute best when no one's watching. Once these cameras yep. go off, what are you doing behind scenes? Because mm -hmm. the, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Hey, I would say this I would say this right now. You may be able to pull a fast one on the man of the Lord, but I, I know can't you, put on the, you can't pull on your hour. Exactly. <laughs> nope. That's nope. Because, nope. because the deceived and the deceiver are his. are his. So with that being nah. said, James 1 and 22, but be ye doers of the word, and not hear us only deceiving your own selves. All right. Yep. So that's all I got to say on that. Yep. And that's that's the spirit too, because ah, uh, the spirit brought me through James too, man. So I got a couple of more for the for the brother. Then we're gonna get back into the lesson. I know I know the brother got to get to work. I ain't gonna lie. I, I gotta shoot. He gotta get to work. So check this out. This is James one in verse <clears throat> in verse two, and it says, "My brethren, crown a little joy when you fall into diverse temptations." Okay. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith work in patience. And I remember the brother brought out about the patience, man. Okay. That there's going to be what? Uh, the whole world's going to be tempted, man. But check this out. Just one more. Stay in the book of James. Let's go to the fifth chapter in verse 11. And it says, Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy, man. So, yeah, man, you're going to be refined. But at the end of the day, he's refining us for what? For for the kingdom, man. Okay, we're gonna yeah, Lord willing, we get through it, man. We get through it, man. We get through these plagues and we get through the love waxing cold, man. Because hey, these other nations and these two thirds, they don't have that stability, man. They don't have they don't have that faith. Okay, so pray uh, pray that the brother, man, that you got it. Uh, that I helped through the spirit of y'all oh, yeah, 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 the brother, he was hit, he was hitting up in the comment board too. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you know what? And the brother Bayan, he dropped a nice one. Revelation 21 and 7. He that overcomes yep. shall inherit all things. things. And I will be his God and he shall be my son. Yep. That's beautiful. But the fearful and unbelieving in the abominable and murderers and whoremongers that go right back yep. to what I was saying, but don't suffer as one of these people. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have what? their part in the lake which burneth with uh -huh. fire and brimstone, which is the second, second death. death. Literally fire. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. Literally fire, man. But, but, fire. Hold on, but guess who going to go through that? The Those elect, elect hopefully elect. But, but it says, but the fearful and unbelieving. Fearful and unbelieving. Con, and yep. say everything else, the unbelieving. That's why the scripture yep. says, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Oh, what is incredulity? Unfaithfulness. Because the next verse says, "For date for the um, the unfaithful shall die in their I unfaithfulness. unfaithfulness." I think that's second edge is the fifteenth chapter, like yeah. the third or the fourth verse. But that's pretty. They because they don't believe they're gonna die. Yep. That's it. They don't. But faith without works is dead. As mm -hmm. the body without the spirit is dead. You know. Yeah, man. They believe what? Oh, yeah, lot. That's it. It's fine. Your lot. And they believe that their houses shall continue forever, man. And two thirds are in that 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 that, that mindset, man. They in that <laughs> mindset, man. <laughs> they want bro, yo, I'm they, so they, Jake, bro. <laughs> they want they want Babylon to go on, but still want to protest in the streets about racism, man. Get out of here, man. Yeah, hey, y'all two thirds is, is is done, man. Two thirds is done. Y'all not gonna be able to survive 
uh, uh, Isaiah 59 and 19. You're not going to be able to survive Revelation the 13th chapter, man, the Karagma, right? Starting at the 15th verse. You're not going to be able to survive that, man. You're going to go crazy, all this right? Is what, this is, I just want to say real quick. Yep. This is what I think about the two-thirds. Like, everything you're saying is correct. Mm -hmm. This is what I think about the two-thirds when I want to have a little bit of remorse about them. Because Elder yeah. Yashima, he, he uploaded a, um, a video, a short on his page, where this chick was like 65 pounds, like 5'4", and she was suffering from AIDS. Well, she could, she was mm -hmm. immobile. And like for the for the first 30 seconds, I was like feeling remorseful. Soon as I got to the 32nd um mark, she on TikTok and all that middle finger with a with a bad boy and everything. I said, you know what? Now I see why she going through that. You know, cause you because you want to try and have a you know, be like, damn, that's a mess of situation. Then you see who they were before that. Oh man, forget that. And then nope. so when I think about two thirds, I think about them, even when the Edomite Pontus Pilate said about Yahweh shot, he said, I found no fault with this man. I washed yep. my hands with this. Even that man's wife, his wife had a dream and said, Yahweh shot is innocent. Uh -huh. What did our old people say? Let his blood, his blood be, be upon, upon us and our children. Our children. So I ain't yep. gonna one. I'm gonna <laughs> laugh at your calamity like your how about Shima Shah gonna laugh at their calamity? Exactly. Yep. They mock the messengers and they, they think it's mm -hmm. a joke. Yep. Yep. And that's beautiful too, man. Because it tells you what it's second Ezra's the ninth chapter. I think it's uh verse nine. Let me get that as a matter of fact. Salakia, verse eight. No, verse nine, Salakia. It says, Then then shall they be in a pitiful case. Which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, man. Because why? Like you said, they misuse the prophets, man. They see the right. prophets out there in the highways and hedges all the time, man, prophesying the downfall of Babylon. Okay, but you have the two thirds that don't that don't care. They despise the word and they go out and they do whatever the hell they want to do. They're not mindful of the scourges. You see that? It tells you what in Second Ezra the sixteen chapter says that if for all these they should not be mindful of the scourges, so they're not going to repent. They're not going to repent on this side. This is why they're going to have to die on this side, man, yep. and be brought back in the kingdom. That's yep. all to it. Because two-thirds are the rebellious house. The plagues are here. The love of many are waxing cold. The prophets are warning you while they still can because soon we won't be able to do this. But still, you will not hearken. You will not open up your ears, man. But guess what? Yahweh Bashim El Shai is not slack concerning his promise, man. That's what Second Peter, the third chapter. Yep. Let me get that real quick. Hey, yo, I ain't gonna yep. lie. I'm about to flex out, brother. You got to flex? All right, man. No, you do your thing. I'm, I'm, gonna, yep. I'm gonna just, you know, but um, hey, yeah, how about Shimmy? I was shy by Shimmy Hakadash, but rock a thumb, a thumb, the water for you, brothers and sisters, yep. you know, especially water, you, brother, brother. You, know, you know, putting bread in the bread basket. That's kind of like Jake throwing some change into the little collection plate, man. So we appreciate it. Done. All right, <laughs> hey, man, shalom, one, but hey, you hey, shalom, one, brother. Y'all about Shimmy, I'll shy, but Shimmy Hakadash, but the water, man. Yeah, but hey man, hit me up later. Shalom, got you. All right, so let's let's continue, man. Um, this is Second Peter three and verse nine. It says, "The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, right? The hopeful elect, not willing that any shall perish, but that all shall come to repentance." So Yahweh Bashim El Shah is giving us His grace period, man, to come back and to repent to seek the Lord ten times more. To be mindful of the scourges, all right? To, to, to understand that we're heading into some evil times, man. All right? Let's continue. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, right? Speaking of what? Babylon, man. It says, scripture say what? The fashion of this, of this world shall pass away, all right? It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness this is what we're in this is why you know brothers you know we, we, we're constantly texting back and forth all right of of the king speaking of the kingdom speaking of the downfall of esau edom speaking of the the, the foolishness of the two-thirds man all right that's why the brothers just put he said the, the what the prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself okay so we're foreseeing the evil measuring the times diligently man okay being circumspect walking as wise not as fools all right because we understand that the plagues are here and the plagues are causing many that's not in this in this what in this wise council to do what to to kill each other off man i think it's isaiah 24 it says that what that there should be a crying for wine in the street okay what does that mean that means that you're gonna have people looking for answers man what's going on with the economy 
What's going on with the food shortages? Why is gas prices so high? So on and so forth. All right. Let's go back. Let's read verse. Uh, yep. So verse 11 says, seeing, yep. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right. Because we're hiding ourselves in a secret place of the most high. Okay. So we know two thirds on this side are going to be destroyed according to the book of uh, 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 Zechariah. Okay. But also we're going to have to go the, the, the hopefully elect, right? The one third hopefully elect are going to have to be refined as gold is refined. Like the brother just asked in that question. So yes, we're going to be refined, man. Okay, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is telling us, hey, don't worry about it, man. Okay, the thermonuclear fire are for the two thirds, the non believers. Okay, and, it's, and also for the heathen. Okay, but the 130 elect is going to be carried through that fire and be refined and be purified so we can rule in the kingdom. All right, so let's go until I'm going to close out. Um, before I do, I'm gonna get a scripture off the comment board, Brother Bayon. <laughs> It's Isaiah 55 and 11. It says, yep, so shall my word <clears throat> be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. That's right. Because Yahweh Hashem is a man that he shall lie. Okay. And it says, but it shall come, it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing where, uh, where to I sent it. So whatever Yahweh Hashem Yahweh says, man. Okay, whatever, whatever he's ordained, right, declaring the end from the beginning, is going to come to pass. These plagues and pestilence are here. Rumors of war. Uh, like I said, uh, Pope Francis, I did that uh, a video not so long ago. Pope, France, Pope, Fran Pope Francis has declared World War Three. All right. All these other nations are ready to go, man, shooting their arrows. Okay, bending that bow and shooting that arrow, which are the missiles, man. Here's the Babylon. All right. The love of many are waxing cold. Church shootings. Uh, uh, mothers killing their children. OK. Uh, uh, there was an article where uh, a pregnant woman was decapitated, man. OK. There was another one where um, a, 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 a Jake, I think it was a Jake. He proposed to he proposed to a woman. Right. And she denied the proposal. So, you know what he did? He threw acid on her face, man. OK. It's going crazy. All right. But hey, we have that wisdom of your understanding, Isaiah 33 and 6. Let's get that. The two-thirds of the heathen don't have it, man. But the hopeful elect, we do, man. 33 and 6. Let's get that. It says what? And wisdom and knowledge, right, through the scriptures, and wisdom is the fear of the Lord. And we know that what? The fear of the Lord tended to life, okay? Isaiah 33 and 6 says, and wisdom and knowledge should be the stability, because we got to remain stable in these times, right? Of thy times. The strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. So while the mighty men are being thrown down, okay, while Yahweh Bashim El Shai is bringing what? Uh, uh, widowhood, poverty, and famine. I believe that's 2nd Ezra's 15 and 49, okay? While, while um, what is it? Uh, While these food shortages are happening, so on and so forth, okay? While people are going crazy, we're going to have that wisdom and stability, man. Yep. Come on, man. Hey, that's all to the spirit. All to the spirit, huh? All to the spirit, man. You know, that's what we're here to do. To edify and to, and, and, and to help, man. Because we're going to need as much edification and, and clarity uh, uh, that we need, man. Because Jeremiah 37, like I said, is going to be a time like never before. See, what we're seeing, what we're witnessing now is just the tip of the iceberg. Okay? It's just the tip of the iceberg. And once we hit that Jacob's troubles, man, there's going to be dead bodies everywhere. OK, body's going to be cast out like the dung on the street. All right. So on and so forth, man. Esau, Edom's military troops shooting down Jake's uh, uh, six pack racist Edomites shooting down Jake's Jake's shooting back at Esau, Edom. OK, um, 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 it's going to be ravishing of the women. All right. Especially these IG and, and, and Instagram thoughts, you know. And all these prideful women is going to be hell. This is why Isaiah 4 and, 1, 4 and 1 is going to kick into place, man. Because when you really think about it, it's going to hit the women even more. Okay? I think it said what? Uh, that they, um, that the woman should have no bridegrooms, man. Okay? So, it's going to be hell, man. But see, the hopefully elect, man, we look unto the Father. 
Okay, we look into Yahweh Shai for 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 help and assurance. All right, so let's go that let's go to Isaiah six uh, Salaki. Let's go to Psalms. Psalms ninety one. Okay, and the brother brought it out too. I think I brought it out as well. We quoted a uh, a scripture from this. So let's go to Psalms. Psalms ninety one. Let's go to Psalms ninety one. And I'm going to start at verse, um, verse 1. And it says, He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, right? Fortress going into that strong tower, right? Uh, Proverbs um, 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe, okay? So I, will say unto, so I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence, okay? He shall cover thee with his feathers, which are the chariots, and under his wings that uh, shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Now check this out. Thou shalt not be afraid by for the terror by night, because we know what? Yahweh Shai is coming in like a thief of the night, okay? And also, that's going to bring into what? Going back into um, uh, a man that having no pity upon his neighbor, okay? Because in the nighttime, Especially in the daytime, it's going to be what? Robbing and stealing, so on and so forth. It says what? Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Speaking what? Those intercontinental missiles, man. Ballistic missiles. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. You see that? A thousand shall fall at thy right side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but they shall not come nigh thee. The scriptures say what? Um... When you fought, when you keep the commandments, was I'm gonna get that real quick. Let me get something real quick. Let's go to um, let's go to Ecclesiastes. Yeah, Ecclesiastes, and let's go to verse eight. It says, "Whoso keepeth the commandments shall feel no evil thing." Going back into what, hiding yourself in that secret place of the Most High, which is the Scriptures, following after the law, following after righteousness, all right, keeping the law such commands to the best of your ability. And it says, and a wise man's heart, which is the mind, discerneth both time and judgment. Going back into what? The prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide himself, being a watchman, okay, to warn the sheep. So the, the hopeful elect being on their watch, all right, blowing the trumpet, so on and so forth, we foreseeth the evil. And we hide ourselves in that strong tower, which is the name of the Lord. We hide ourselves in that secret place, which is the scriptures, the word of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay. So let's end off in the book of Isaiah, chapter 25. And I'm sorry, uh, yep, verse 9. And it says, Nope, let's start at, um, let's go to, yep, let's go to verse uh, verse 8. And it says, he will swallow up death and victory, and the Lord Yahweh will wipe away tears from our all, off our faces. And the rebuke of his people shall he take away from all from off all the earth, for the Lord has spoken it. Okay, so Yahweh, you know, Yahweh is going to take, us to take off that reproach. We won't longer be called a byword in the proverb, right? Deuteronomy 28 and 37. We won't be an astonishment among the nations, okay? And, 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 and Wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter says what? That they should be Amazed at the strangers of, of our salvation, okay? Going into those chariots, all right? And it says, And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, right? Because going back into what? This is the, the faith and the patience of the saints, all right? And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord Yahweh. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. All right. So while the two thirds and the heathen nations are going crazy because the plagues are here, because of the love of many are waxing cold, the hopeful elect, we have our hope in Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. Okay. And in low willing, we are amongst that, that remnant. All right. So I pray, brothers and sisters, that this was edifying. And to the brother, our nations of kings and priests, I truly hope the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that helped you out. And the water to the brothers for dropping down our precepts and scriptures. Shalom to you, sincere sisters that are listening and learning. 
All right. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shad, Bahashim Racha Hakwadash. A hey, peace and blessings again, Akiba Akwathium, and double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone that's been teaching us this truth. Much respect to the mighty Gabarium and the Hawaiians and Hedges, and to the Gabarium making videos of edification and salutations to the whole family that's scattered abroad to be unto the speckled bird. Like the title says, the plagues are here. The plagues are here, man. And the love of many are waxing cold. All right. Stay strong. Stay diligent. Hope in the Lord. Pray for mercy, man. And fear the Lord. Shalom.